Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. Um, let me adjust the camera a bit here. So today I want to talk to you about the Echo CS 440. Um, this saw is a bit of a unicorn. Um, talked to people on some Echo pages with it, um, and uh, so people don't listen. Um, so this saw, it's clamshell. It is a clamshell saw, but it's in three pieces. So you got the two halves that go around the crank, but the cylinder comes off separate. People on Facebook had a pro hard time comprehending. Says, "Oh no, it's the exact same saw as like the uh, 370 and the um, CS400." It's like, no, it's not. This is completely different. This is a bit of a unicorn. If you go all the way from the CS310 all the way up to the CS520, uh, they're all two-piece clamshell designs with open transfers. This saw has a three-piece where you can just replace the cylinder, and it's closed port transfers. Um, <clears throat> And then I got all this slack on Facebook saying, oh, that's, a, that's an older, shittier design. And I'm like, what? The, these people know what they're talking about? This is on an Echo page, group page. Um, but the thing is, they don't understand. It's like, well, you, the cylinder's separate. You got a gasket in there, and it's like 30 seconds in, you take off that gasket, you reduce the squish, or like, you get more compression. Um, the closed port transfers, they can flow better. They need to be opened up. Um, and I want to do that. On the saw, but I want to find another piston cylinder before I go modding once. So I got a backup. Um, not super easy to find. Um, I don't know if these are made everywhere, like if they're available in the States as much as they were in Canada and elsewhere. But, I mean, this is a, it's a really well designed saw, like adjustable oiler, separate cylinder. It's it's just a well built saw. And I think these have a lot of potential. I don't want to mess around with these a lot more because I really think. They could be a real ripper. Um, so I need a new chain for it, but uh, not this weekend, but the weekend after I'm going to take this out to the bush and do a lot of cutting with it and get it tuned up. But I don't want to do too much because I live in the city and I've made way too much noise in the past while with the chainsaws. But um, but no, this saw is a bit of a unicorn because even the big brother, like the uh, 520, the 510, the 520, they are both two piece clamshells with open transfers. Like, I don't know, it's hard to find history on Echo saws, but I mean, this seems more like it's built more like a pro saw, just because of the features, like, I don't know, maybe somebody out there knows, but I've looked at all the IPLs for like the 310, 310 all the way up to the 520, and they're all two-piece clamshell designs, except for the newer ones, like the 4910, that's different, but I mean, and that, I don't know if that 4310 is different either, but the 40, even the 4510 two-piece clamshell, the 40, the 3510 two-piece clamshell, but this one's just, it's a bit of a unicorn, and if you can find one of these, I think they're a great saw if you want to tinker with it. I really do. Anyways, YouTube, take it easy.